Alright guys, welcome to another Tap Sports Baseball video. In today's video, it's going to be the weekend team update video that I do every Sunday. So, first thing I think I'm going to start with is my current record, which is 17, or 1764 and 199. Getting pretty close to the 2000 games played for the achievement. You saw a quick sneak peek of my team strength there give you another quick sneak peek oh. so there's some players there so we'll see who else I got on the team anyways also gonna be opening some boxes that I've been getting as gifts and stuff uh, today is Mother's Day so happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there don't know if any moms watch my video highly doubt it though um, but Anyways, also got some boxes from the CVC. As you can see, I did pretty decent. Got the high round score and the MVP. So I ended up getting a full plate box, which um, I could really use that foil Arenola. Probably won't get them. And the Stunner Shades box, which is also nice. Um, pretty sure you guys quickly saw some of the players I have from those boxes all right anyways gonna go through my team some of the stats things like that I'll save the boxes for the end so if you want to see those stay tuned to the end and you'll see that here's my daily five toolbox I'll open that quick you'll see I have five of the mama's boys gift boxes one stun of shade one full plate the daily the I'll do the daily in the May right now because it's only cash um or tokens but yeah got a chance for some players at the end there so stay tuned if you want to see that anyways going straight to the team we'll start with batters most of these guys you guys have seen got Buster Posey, Yuli Guriel, Guriel, uh, Glaber Torres so I don't think anyone in my starting lineup is actually lower than 330 which is awesome and you'll see why so Trevor Story right here I don't remember if I pulled him in the video or not, but I did end up getting him. I don't think I pulled him in the video. So if you guys didn't see him then, I do have Trevor Story now, which really good player, especially his skills for a walk-off hero. <laughs> so he's going to be awesome. Did pull this foil Mike Trout in the video, the 335 foil Mike Trout. But another player I didn't pull in the video was the foil rookie Mike Trout. Which, honestly, I ended up pulling like four boxes after the video. I only opened like four more. And got Ricky Mike Trout foil. So I got both of the foil Mike Trouts, 335. And honestly, I, I kind of prefer the regular foil one over the rookie one. The rookie one does have more speed. But 103 speed is decent enough. It's honestly, it's not that great. But when you have over 200 hit and power... Um, you don't need that much speed to be honest and also got the regular 330 Mike Trout so Mike Trout is my outfield literally Mike Trout is my outfield also got this Jeff McNeil from the cash box but he is not my best DH he's I just have him in there for the uh, event but when I put my best DH in there you can see everyone in my starting lineup including designated hitter is 330 or higher do love this Juan Soto. Sorry about that. Gonna and just gonna go through some stats real quickly. Um, Buster Posey doing good. Nothing to complain about. Uh, pretty good. Twenty point eight WAR. Pretty insane. Uh, Guriel. I'll go through just stats of um real quickly through these guys. Go a little more in depth with my newer players. Man, Yuli Guriel is doing really good actually. If you just look at the stats real quick, killer OPS actually. So he's doing really good. Mustakis, one of the newer-ish players. Decent as well. Trevor Story just got him. And he's killing it as well. Honestly insane. I'm excited to see some of the foil Mike Trout stats. Um, curious to see how good he's doing. I haven't checked him yet. So the regular Mike Trout. His slugging is literally a 1,000, which is just crazy. 8.5 home runs per at, or at bats per home run, which is insane. Like he has 32 home runs 
in 56 games played. So he's hitting a home run almost every single game. Um, yeah, <laughs> he's honestly crazy. Uh, it's my first time looking at his stats, and that's insane. 1493 OPS. Rookie Mike Trout doing really good as well. Not as good, though, as I assumed. I, I Like I said, I like the stats on the other Mike Trout. And this is just kind of proving it. Um, yeah, so the regular Mike Trout foil is doing amazing. Man, even this version of Mike Trout's kind of killing it. Only .1% lower on the at-bats per home run. He has 30 home runs in 56 game plays as opposed to 32, I think, for the foil. So even this one um, doing a little bit better than the rookie one, I believe. And this one actually has more speed than the foil version, which is weird. Juan Soto. Had him for a while, still killing it. Um, I won't go through the subs or anything. Or through their stats, I mean, but you can see the subs. They're all 320s. Yeah, all my subs are 320s. This is Cody Bellinger, awesome for walk-off hero, by the way. One of the best walk-off hero cards right now, in my opinion. Some of my keepers. And Michael Conforto, who got relegated to the bench, unfortunately. I just really don't want to get rid of him, even though he's only a one. A one skill player. <laughs> he had so many at bats for my team. Uh, reloading. I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah. I'm just having oh gift. I'm I just having trouble kind of getting rid of him, you know. Um. Anyways, so those were my batters, pitchers. This Scherzer's been honestly, um, pretty good. But I'd expect him to be better, being like. I must. I think he's the best pitcher in the game. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's been doing amazing. You see his ERA is literally close to one. Uh, he does have two losses, though. I don't think this Musgrove has any losses. So this Joe Musgrove is, yeah, 96 and 0. Um, so maybe he's just gotten luckier when he's up there. Not sure. Uh, DeGrom's also been amazing, 126 and 1. Low ERAs all around. I think uh, Garrett Cole has the highest ERA. Of all my starters. And even then. No. He doesn't. Man he has a lot of innings pitched. Um, John Lester does that at 1.4. So. My starting pitching is honestly amazing. I have two really good relievers. Um, I could have bought the other 330. But I figured I have a 330 hater. And a 330 a roll this. So. I don't really need another reliever. Um, plus I have this Liam Hendricks. Um. So I don't need another 330 that, you know, is out for purchase. So I'm not going to buy it. Um, so I'll just stick with the relievers I have now. If you don't know what I'm talking about. There is, uh, I forget which reliever it is. This Sean Newcomb. Yeah, so he goes up to 330, but I, I don't know. I already have two 330s. I just don't think it's worth it for me. Really good card, though. And... My team strength is 96-399 with my best players in, which is honestly for gold, I think is really good. I just need to do some more like upgradings of skills and stuff. I'm getting pretty close to that 100,000 uh, at gold, and I still haven't even gotten past gold one. I'll start working on that eventually. The event for the club's been doing decent. Um... Lower rank. This is the Crazy Glue 2. I went to the second club for this weekend event to try to help put up some points for them. I've uh, been working and stuff, so I haven't been able to do too much, but I'm in our uh, second club. And I think that's about it for the update part of it. Now I'm going to go straight into some boxes for you guys. So let's see if we can get lucky. I'll start with the full plate boxes. Experience there. And experience twice, I believe. Yeah. So not not that not a good start, but this isn't a box opening video. So I did get a uh, I did get a good pull here actually. What is this? No, oh, Manuel Margot. I've pulled them before, but I've been trading them in because I don't really need them. These Mamas Boys gift boxes. There's actually some decent 320s in here, but I doubt I'll get them. It's not that high of a percentage of pulling them. Um, and yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any of them. 
just a bunch of ice traps, which I have plenty of. I don't really need ice traps. Anyways, so that's going to do it for the weekend update video. I don't think I missed anything. Um, but if I didn't, let me know. This, one, this video is also going in a playlist, and the playlist is going to be in the description of the video as well. If you guys want to see the other uh, weekend update videos leading up to this and kind of see the progression I've been making. So, yeah, the playlist is always in the description for these videos specifically. You know, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Leave in the comments below, as always, when I do these videos, your team strength, division, some of your best players this week. Uh, what have been your good pulls this week? Obviously, for me, I pulled two foil Mike Trouts, 335s, which... <laughs> Uh, it's been pretty awesome. Um, so all those Mike Trouts were probably my best pulls of the week, which have been awesome. Anyways, that's going to do it for now. One other thing I was going to mention is probably not big enough yet, but I'm thinking, and this is going to be probably a lot farther down the line, about starting up a club of my own where subscribers and um, friends and stuff can get in and we can start our own club so let me know if that idea sounds cool for you guys if you've made it this far in the video um, probably gonna be further down the line I only have like 110 subscribers right now so I'll see I'll wait and see for that anyways it's gonna do it for now and I'll catch you guys next time